Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I think two videos ago was a video on my aquarium and how my fish were diseased with ick and costia, which uh, is one costia is a parasite infection. But for about two weeks now, I think two, maybe two, two and a half, they have been fully healed. As you can see, my biggest, as if you remember from the past video. He was all red on his head and chest, and it is all gone. So he easily recovered, and uh, so has my female, for that matter. She didn't. She was trying to get the coastier, I think, from him contracting, because they'd always be laying right next to each other. Although she has a couple black dots, which I'm not really worried about because she's had them many times before and hasn't affected her or any of the other ones and uh... and also they seem to be going away so not really worried about those uh... and my little ones have uh... have been a lot more active too although one of them I'm not sure one by looking at it right now but is a little messed up in the head like when I feed him, he'll be doing like upside down cartwheels in the water and all that, which I think it might be that one right there. But it doesn't bother me because he's, oh yeah, he's still alive, so it's all good. And uh, I think me having the heater in there is helping too, because before they got the infection, I didn't have it, so this maintains a good 75 degrees in there at most. And I also reduced the the oxygen level. Main reason because I lost six fish in the process of the disease, so don't need as much oxygen in the tank as I did. Still sad about the fish. I lost four African cichlids. Those died rapidly. Lost one a day for about a couple, yeah, four days straight. I lost two goldfish, one of the small ones, and that third one, which was about his size, but a little bit smaller. And a, oh yeah, a bluegill. But I'm just glad that he ended up pulling through because he's my main, my main fish right there. Three years in the process of having him survive and all that. So that's all. That's pretty much all that matter. I couldn't. I could care less about these guys as much as I do about him. But, yeah, and then with, like, the heating and oxygen thing, a higher heat and lower oxygen content makes it less for parasites to contract. Because if it's warmer, parasites can't really survive there. And they also can't survive with salt. That's why I don't know if I talked about it. my last video. I kind of added some Epsom salt once in a while, dissolve it in there, because that will slowly take care of any parasites. Not as much as the Quick Cure, which I know I knocked that in my past video, but I was just so mad about the disease that I thought it would work right away, but it it worked. And I also cleaned my filter too. I, Scrub that and got all their old waste out, and that might have helped too. But yep, yeah, they're all doing pretty good. So, uh, thanks for watching. This might be coming handy if you ever have a costia. Keep the temp higher, and that would most likely prevent it from, from any parasites forming in your tank. So, yeah, like, subscribe, and, yeah, thanks for watching.